Hello. Today's simple sewing project for the week uh, is going to be an infinity scarf. An infinity scarf is a great fashion accessory and uh, especially timely as the fall is just around the corner. So it's a great project for beginners and so we're going to show you how to do that today. Very quick and simple project. So first you're going to start with a fabric and I like to use a really lightweight cotton. Uh, you can also use some knits or some uh, heavier fabrics if you choose, but for beginners a lightweight cotton is, is the easiest thing to start with. You do want to select a fabric that has a really good drapeability that's really soft, that's not going to be stiff around your neck. And then you're going to cut a long piece of fabric. So uh, the written directions say that you can cut this about 36 inches long by about 24 inches wide. But you can certainly alter that a little bit if you want it differently. In fact, if you'd like it to loop around your neck twice, you need to cut it about 72 inches long by that 24 inches wide. First step in sewing is to take your long piece and then fold it in half, right sides together, and then you're gonna pin it down the side, okay? So that you keep all of your nice edges together. And you don't have to put too many pins, but put enough that you feel comfortable uh, as you're sewing, okay? And so then you're gonna sew all the way down this long edge. So I've actually already sewn this one, but let me show you how to get started. So I wanna use about a half an inch seam allowance, so I know how that is or where that marking is on my machine. I'm gonna sink my needle, take a few stitches, back stitch about three or four stitches, and then start going forward again. Remember to always take your pins out before you get to them, and you wanna sew all the way down this long side, and as you get to the very end, you're gonna to want to do the back stitching again. So. After you've done that, you've sewn that one long seam, the next thing you're gonna do is put your hand in the middle of this tube. So you kinda of open it up, and you're gonna put your hand down in the middle, and you're gonna take the other end and pull it through. So I'm still looking at the wrong side of the fabric. I have my seam allowance here as I'm pulling the other end of the tube through. Now, when I get it back up to the top so that the two ends meet, I want to open up my seam allowances. And ideally, ideally, you would take these over to an ironing board and give them a little press so they would lay nice and flat for you. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of finger press today. But press those seam allowances open and then you wanna match those up right on top of each other, okay? So I'm gonna put a pin there. And then I want to match both of these ends together all the way around this tube. So I'm going to come to the other side. And I'm going to pin again. And sometimes it takes a minute to get all those edges lined up nice and straight like you want them to be. For you to sew. Now, as, you, uh, as you're sewing, you can decide how many pins you might need, but I'm just gonna put a couple in for right now to make that go a little faster. And so we're gonna sew all the way around the top of this tube, with the exception of about an inch and a half opening so that we can flip this right side out when we're completely finished. So again, I'm gonna get started here, a few stitches in, back stitch, and then with this seam, you have to be particularly careful to have everything laid out flat and make sure that you're not sewing your tube together. Make sure you're not sewing something you don't mean to be sewing. Nice and slowly and then reposition your fabric so that you're not, again, sewing something you didn't intend to. Keeping your fingers a good distance from the needle. And remember those feed dogs will pull your fabric through so there's no need to pull or push. Let the machine do its job. And then as I get back around to where I started, again, I've got to leave a little bit of a hole so that I can turn this right side out. Okay, so I'm going back 
tack again to kind of secure the area around the hole. And then I'm going to pull through. So I'm going to take the scarf insides and turn, or the wrong side and turn it right side out through that hole that I get, that I left. So this takes just a minute for you to do. But when you get it all the way around, the only thing you have left is to sew up that hole. And you can do that by machine if you're really careful. And again, only stitch through the layers that you are intending to stitch through. But it's neater and better if you'll just go ahead and stitch up that little hole by hand. And it'll give you a great project. Uh, pretty simple and easy to do. All right. When you get it turned all the way around. Again, you have that small hole to sew up by hand, preferably, and then you have a great little infinity scarf that only takes a few minutes to make, so you can make lots and lots of these for yourself or for gifts. Thanks for watching.